So guys, I've managed to convince Crescent Suzuki to let me take out the GSXR 750. How I did that, I have no idea. And this just feels absolutely amazing. And this is, oh man, this is so smooth compared to every other bike I've ever been on. <laughs> Just after being on it for two seconds. Oh man, this is, this is fucking incredible. Good lord. Wow. I can't even believe I'm riding this. This is this is absolutely hands down a, like my favourite bike of all time. Even before I was even interested in bikes, which I've got to thank uh, Mr. Mike, uh, Mikey Reviews and Mikey Plays and so on and so forth, and Mikey Vlogs, check him out, um, for even getting me into bikes. But my uncle's had an s rad version of this for a very long time now, and he absolutely loves it, and he's only ever recon uh, recommended the Jixxer 750 to me, and uh, so on and so forth, so I've got no reason to, to doubt it. This is just unbelievably awesome. So excuse me while I lose my mind on this fret for a minute. It's so loud, and this is a stock exhaust. It's so loud. It's unbelievable. this out man I'm not even gonna I can't <laughs> I'm in gear five oh my god I'm in gear five <laughs> I'm in gear six <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be riding this I'm gonna spend a lot of money <laughs> this is not good this is not good good lord and I'll tell you what again I um I took a CBR 600 out that was nice to ride taking the R6 out the day after and I thought, the, uh, the, you know, for all intents and purposes, that bike was amazing to ride. But my one little complaint with that was that the rider position was very, very uncomfortable, I thought. And this bike is just absolutely comfortable as. It's really, really nice. And I've always wanted to ride one of these, even if I was just as a pillion, but now, Everything's changed because I've passed my test and I'm actually riding one. It's just amazing. I can't tell you how I feel right now. It's just fucking incredible. Why is there traffic here? I don't know. First gear actually goes. If I do first gear on my CBF 125, I'm doing 18 miles an hour right now. If I do that on my 125 in first gear, I will actually blow it up. It's not even funny. It will just full on explode. Dude, this is. Oh. Motorway's not busy at least. Come on, man. Open your eyes. I didn't get to ride the 636 that I was supposed to ride today, but 
but actually knew that the second I get on a jig so I'm just going to love it so it's unbelievable so yeah here's the actual roadworks we were coming away from them last time so we didn't actually see them so well uh, yeah they're doing something to the supports on the bridge and they're making everyone go too slow that's all they're ever doing and Karen that guy was on his phone the other two guys were just walking having a chat and they're going to be the only three guys there and not really doing anything and then uh, the rest of everyone else that would ever be there are probably more likely to be just sitting around drinking tea or eating croissants instead oh uh, don't rain now come on shimmer I found the R6 bit a bit jerky as well. It, did, it seemed to want to just jump into gear a lot. Come on, he's only on the side of the road. What are you doing? Oh my god, it's a 40 mile an hour limit. What's going on? There can't be that much traffic. Supposed to U turn there. <laughs> That's why you don't U turn there, moron. Yeah, I was going to say actually a minute ago, I, was like, I lost the demonstrator logo. Look. Yeah, I know, we saw it fly off down the motorway. <laughs> I know, that's why we stopped here. Hello, gorgeous. You right? <laughs> Your head's really cold. Sorry. Woo! No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the Thelma and Louise ending. Oh. Just going to drive it off a cliff. Do I like it? What kind of fucking moron are you? Why would you even ask that? Uh, Ellie's recording me. Come on, Ed. We're going, yeah? Back to Crescent. Why do we have to go back to Crescent? Harry Potter is dead! Why do we have to go back to Crescent? Oh, you son of a... <laughs> Assholes. What a bunch of assholes! This is so easy to ride, man. It's not even funny. And this 
has definitely made my entire year so far. It's only the 4th of May. Ah, may the 4th be, may the 4th be with you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. This is a good freaking day for bikes. Sadly, I can't buy this one. I don't have that much money. <laughs> I can't finance it because I don't have that much money. <laughs> And to bloody insure this thing would be ridiculous because I'm only 24 and uh, in June I'll have my first year of no claims. Definitely buying a jigsaw, so there's just no fucking doubt about it. You don't even have to rag it around, it just, so, it just feels so nice to ride. It just feels awesome. It's really smooth. All the time. lovely bike. Little else I can say about it. It's borderline perfect for me. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, I was supposed to take out more bikes today, but I'm not going to complain because this is the one I wanted to ride. This is the one that I wanted to take out. If there was any one, it would have been this one. But I got to take out the Ninja 300 as well, which I've discovered is a very good bike. It's a very nice little motor. Test riding is a really, really nice way to pass the time anyway. I mean, obviously shops would rather you go ahead and buy them. But I mean, what was that? Bloody hell, RX-7. I only just saw that out of the corner of my eye. Um, I'm really, I have a surprising amount of footage time left on my camera, by the way, uh, at this point. And I'm really worried that the first time I was on this, it wasn't caught. Effortless to pull away as well. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So in closing, like I keep trying to say, the GSXR has I mean it's always been my favourite bike, but it, by riding this one today it's just just solidified itself. It's placing part of my history. I'm absolutely positively buying one of these without a shadow of a doubt. One twenty nine for petrol at a BP, are you fucking kidding me? What? What? That makes as much sense as me just nicking this bike right now. <laughs> it's freaking unreal. Unexpected. Son of a bitch. That was a little scary. <laughs> that became more about just getting the bike to stop wherever, as opposed to before the lights. <laughs> Put my foot down nearly. Felt the back wheel go out a little bit. It just goes to show how damn strong the brakes are on these things. You do not want to screw around. Aaron's going <laughs> Think so. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> it's just unreal. Like this, this one feels this is 750 feels just as awesome, just as light, just as manoeuvrable as the 300 that I just. Got. I'm starting to go on my hands a little bit, but that's because I'm not used to riding super sports. I'm used to sitting. I'm used to reclining. <laughs> CBF 125 is a recliner bike. <laughs> well, and maybe not that extreme, but it's quite upright compared to this. And I mean, as I've already said, this is the most comfortable sports bike I've ever sat on. I've only got the Ninja and the Daytona left that I'm even interested in, so um, I'll have to try and get a Ninja out at some point. So this is just unbelievable. I'm speechless, man. I'm absolutely speechless. I can't. Even I'm so excited about this bike, and now I've got to give it back. I mean, this is this is depressing me a little bit. <laughs> if I'm honest. Why do people always do this here? There's always someone here that screws this bit up. And as always, guys, rule number one of test riding: be careful. Rule number two of test riding. Try not to get too used to it, because the second you do, it'll be time to take it back. 
and that's just how it works. So uh, this concludes the GSX-R750 ride, annoyingly. I don't want to give it back. I don't want to give it back. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to watch my video guys. Really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please comment, like and subscribe for more frequently regular content. By doing this you'll also be supporting my channel. And please click the links on screen now to check out and subscribe to my other channels. Thanks a lot.